Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to add an Instagram feed just like this to your Elementor website. Let's get started. First of all you want to make sure that you have a plugin called the plus add-ons installed and activated on your website and in this case I already have the plus add-on plugin installed and activated and I have the pro version of this plugin and when this plugin is installed you come over here to the plugin settings then over here you'll see all the widgets that are activated and those that are not activated so in this case you have to look up for the Instagram feed and make sure that it's activated so that you can easily drag it over into your work area and configure it to what you want so when I look down here Instagram it's over right here so I simply have to activate it. Now, all those that are in gray, they're not activated. When I toggle over here, then I activate it. When I toggle over here, then it's deactivated. Now I have activated my Instagram widget and I simply save updates. Now, once I save that and I come back here to my Elementor website, you realize that I have already added this widget over here. Now what I'm going to do is very simple. I simply just come over here to the widgets area and I search for Instagram. I drag it over here, delete this. And by default, it will ask me for a user token or client ID and a user ID. Now what I'm going to do is simply click over here, come here to Instagram and the plus add-on gives us two options, either to use the username or the access token. Now I actually advise that you use the access token settings instead of the username because here you have issues where by some time your feed will show up, sometime it will not show up. So what I advise is simply click over here access token and here we can enter a couple of settings that are required. One, the access token. When you click over here it will take you to a page whereby you can generate an access token and that means that you have to allow this website fetch for you the access token or generate for you the access token from instagram when i click over here generate access token it will generate for me or it will lead me to instagram and i allow this website to generate for me this access token by logging into my instagram and boom you are good to go i've already logged into my instagram which is over here so you don't have to worry about that now the other thing i have to do is simply copy that access token paste it over here and now we have to get our user id and to get the user id you simply click over here come over here to instagram enter your username and you simply fetch your user id and over here it will generate for you the user id the username and the full name that you use on instagram this is what i want i simply copy it over here come here and i paste it and with that i am done okay now that means that i can now have my instagram feed show up on my elementor or wordpress website i simply hit update now when i hit update and i click over here to the preview settings it will automatically bring me over here to the preview page and then you realize that now i have my instagram feed show up on my website now there are a couple of other things that you can do like changing your instagram layout we have only two styles with the plus add-ons so when i click over here then i simply hit update and then i come here to my preview page i simply scroll down here then you realize that i have another layout of my instagram feed show up here then when i come over here again I can come here to the feed settings i can sort by most recent most liked most commented all that over here i can maximize visibility of the images i can say i want 12 images i want to let me say i can want to only show on the six and then i can also show either the thumbnail or low resolution images that all goes back to what you want and then under the general settings you can simply select whether you want six columns three columns or whatever you want or the on the mobile version also you can configure that on what you want i think on a mobile version i can have only three columns and then all these settings over here the grid layout the pagination if you want any and then whether you want to display the likes the comments and even or enable the link to open in a new tab to your instagram page for example when someone clicks over here 
it will automatically open my link to the Instagram uh, website. When you come now over here to the layout and style, and you come over here to the likes and comments, you can configure how your likes and comments will appear on your website. For example, here they are appearing in yellow. I can change that maybe to purple, something like that. And uh, the pop-up image icon, when someone comes over to the pop-ups, how will that appear like? So you can set it over right here, the caption style. I mean, you have limitless abilities to style up your Instagram feed. But in this case, I want to use the style one and I leave everything else at default. And I simply hit update. Once I update, it will automatically update my preview page. I come back over here and boom, you realize that I only have six of the posts. Okay. And then also that I have three columns and then also you realize that my color changed for the comments and likes, but this is a terrible color. Maybe I can change it to white. <laughs> so by coming back over here, come to the style, likes and comments, instead of purple, I just give it maybe white. I update, come back here, it will automatically update. And I come to my Instagram feed, you see now, it is in white color and when someone clicks over here, boom, it opens up in a new window and takes them straight to my Instagram page. Anyway, in a nutshell, that's how you can add the Instagram feed to your Elementor or WordPress website using the plus add-ons for Elementor. In case you have any questions, comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. And in case you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever I publish out new videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.